Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll, I will show you how to set up a side scrolling camera inside Unreal Engine 5 because uh, since Unreal Engine 5 came out, uh, there is no template for a side scrolling game. So I will make that from a third person. So I already make that before I record my video. So it's a third person template and we will make a side scrolling camera from this third person so let me get started so i have this third person character so let me duplicate that because i don't want to mess with this one so i will duplicate that and call this for example aside anything and drag that and make him in that scene and just possess this one okay from player zero and let me play now i am possessing this character so the setup that you need let me open that the setup you need to make is the camera itself so you already have a camera boom and that camera boom is attached to the player to the to the capsule component if you collapse that it's already attached to the capsule component but if you go and see this is the important thing so he's saying use pawn control rotation so since you add for example where is the camera this one if you add any pitch controller for pitch or yaw this will be affected let me go back this camera boom is inheriting that rotation from the controller and it will be affected so let me rotate that negative 90 degrees okay and even that it's saying that negative 90 degrees but it's still inheriting that so i need to turn off yaw and also the pitch because i'm i will do some pitch rotation so turn that off and also make some pitch rotation so if i go compile now and go i will have this let me go back and increase the target arm length so i will make that for example 700 and go compile and see my effect now i have this side scrolling game so if i play now the controls are inversed why i will show you why let me make an arrow for example let me an arrow component please where are the arrows sorry the arrow component and not on the camera please attach that to the mesh itself and reset everything except it will be 90 degrees like this okay and i believe it's showing by default no it's not so it's hidden in game turn that off so i need to show you something so let me go and play so this is the forward vector of the character itself so when i make the character by default i'm using the w key okay he using this forward vector so this is the forward vector so if i go to the event graph uh, by default you can turn that off because you won't use any camera rotation they are so i leave that by default you can turn that off so the trick is inside the control movement component it's the movement input itself so when you on triggered and this is the enhanced input component system and by default when you say triggered this is happen every tick so on it started it's one it's just calling that once when you say triggered it's happened multiple times in the frames okay so now if i say add movement and input for example this add movement input from for the yaw i'm getting the control rotation and for the yaw and who is feeding that value is the yaw itself okay so i need to make that instead of the yaw i need to make that the x itself okay so let me delete that and delete that so i will use the x for the yaw and they and the y for the x okay so let me use the x for the r please let me 
make that and this one will be that one so if i compile now and go and play now i can use the w and the s keyboard and he is moving in the more proper way okay i'm using when i say d now it's moving in the forward vector of the character but now if i hit s on the keyboard it's flipped it's flipped okay so the last thing i need to do is go back and this value to need to be this is scale value need to be negated so i say multiply please by negative one and do this and now you have the full setup of a side scrolling camera effect okay so you can't move your mouse your mouse won't longer work because I by default go to the camera boom and turn these off okay so so you will have this moving right and left and up and down with the proper controls okay so this is how modern uh, side scrolling games now let me go and add more ac extra juice to this tutorial so why not let me go and make some a blueprint actor call this for example bp and call this cam manager and this will basically add some offset and dynamic to the camera itself so let me open this as usual make a scene because i had the default one root and make a text render because i will show that and leave it as a text render and i will rename that camera manager and this will be the camera manager center that and make that to red please not blue red okay and also i need i need a box collision okay i'll call this box collider and set these values you have the freedom to set as you like for these box extend values okay and now let me drag that box manager uh, sorry the camera manager like this let me sh make this hidden in game mm, it's hidden in game but why it's not showing let me rotate that there you are okay and make sure it's not hidden in game okay you can turn that off but for this purposes it's for for example if you are working on a on level design for this side scrolling game maybe you make that turn that off for hidden of game for debugging purposes and later on you will do this and it will be hidden in game okay so let me compile and play for example it's by default hitting the game why not oh sorry i turned that on so you have this camera manager so what what i need from this camera manager to add some offset okay to add some offset let me leave tick to add some offset to the camera where camera boom to this camera arm length okay so add more dynamic to that so on box extend and event on begin overlap and also add box extend on begin end overlap so you have these two things so on the other cast uh, other actor sorry cast sorry cast to the third i believe to third person character where are you what's the name was BP third person character side cast to BP third person side okay this one and basically I will promote this as a variable and I will call it for example a player this will be the player and also I will make a bool variable okay I will call this B shift camera for example okay so by default if i compile let me do this compile by default is the default value is false so when as soon as i 
collapsed with the player please trigger that on okay so i will trigger that on and when i end overlap basically i make that as a false okay i will show you why because on every tick i'm listening for this this bull variable so get me that and say please is it can you shift the camera if that's the case i will use this sequence on true on false so basically i need all since this event happened so every tick i need also to check if this player is valid because maybe it's firing on every tick and this didn't overlap with the, with the character yet so i need to make is valid or not so i say is valid please as this and let me copy and paste that also on the false so i'm checking on every tick is this has been shift camera it's it's only be true when the player has been overlapped and please check if the player itself is valid if that the case please get camera boom get the camera boom and now let me get target arm length and also set target arm length so i'm manipulating this value i will change this value by interp float so i will say f interp float please from this current value to an offset so you can make a variable a float variable for this offset but for this purposes i will make this fast i will say 1000 for example and 400 and the delta time will, will get world delta seconds and i will multiply that and this can be the speed the transition speed but i will also make this as a 50 for example and i will do this and hook this to valid okay so let me move that and copy and paste and now when the case it's back to false return that target arm length to the default value and it will be 700 okay so let me redo this so i have a box collider this box collider when the player has been overlapped please cache this variable and store that as the player and set b shift camera to true and when he end overlap b shift camera to false so on every tick he's listening is shift camera true so if is that the case okay if the player is valid please if that player is valid get the camera boom of this one and sh uh, and interpret that value so i will interpret that value from the current value to 100 1000 sorry 1000 and 400 okay and when it's false return back to the default one which is was 700 so now if i compile everything uh let me see what the error i need to make also from the player compile and close everything and everything is will be happy so let me go and play now see you will have this camera zoom effect as a side scrolling okay okay so this is how you can make a side scrolling game inside unreal engine 5 because they has they have removed that template and basically we can do this from the side uh, from the third person all i did is basically you can remove this camera if you can unhook this is it will be about basically i do the camera boom please rotate that negative 90 degrees and turn off a please these pitch and yaw because i'm rotating on the yaw and also rotating on the pitch and give some target arm length okay and the important thing is the movement because since the movement has been flipped because of the camera so we need to flip this the x will be feeded to the y because if i go this is our the forward vector okay and when i say when i say please move on the x value 
I will add a movement component, uh, add a movement input to the R, okay, to the R, and this will move that. And the other one, it's flipping that. The other one, the the Y will be to the X, and just negate that value because it will be flipped. And I just make a camera manager and. For example, you can go fancy with this. You can add an offset. You can rotate your camera and make uh, your camera dynamic and live as many third person, uh, sorry, side scrolling games. So uh, on overlap, he overlap the player, cache the player, B shift camera is true. And on tick, if that the case is true, please reinterpret this value with, with is the target arm length okay from this value to this offset value by this is speed so this is speed you can make this speed for example less for example 20 you can say for example 20 this is the interpret speed and let me compile and play so when i go back you see this transition go slowly okay so if you want to do this for example more fast you can basically increase this value and it will be fast okay compile play so it will be fast as like that okay so this is how you make a side scrolling camera effect inside unreal engine 5 thank you for watching and see you in the next video or future videos bye